making Thursday things, we're making Thursday things, we're making Thursday, yeah. Hello, 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 everyone. It's Teresa with Critters Crochet. It is Thursday morning, so that means it's things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's things we're making Thursday. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to get a drink of coffee. I wanted to come on and share what I've been working on. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to um, just give you an update. Remember that Kenyatta from Kenyatta Creates, Heather from Strings and Threads, and myself, we are in a competition together to a friendly competition <laughs> to see who can gain the most watch hours each week from Monday to Monday. Um, so far, um, we are at... Or, well, we're doing the Monday to Monday. Let me backtrack a little bit. And then, and whoever gets the most watch hours this time from this past Monday till next Monday, whoever gains the most watch hours in those seven days, the next thing we have to do is we have to do our hair in a silly way for our video. So a silly hair video. Um, and then when we reach 4,000 watch hours, then we get to get pied in the face. <laughs> so it's really fun. So right now, guys, um, we are at 3,413 watch hours. Wow. That's only 587 watch hours from 4,000. So... 587 watch hours to go and I can get pied in the face. Um, and we are at 888 subscribers. So that means we are only 112 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. So guys, this is so awesome. If you're new to this channel, um, as far as this challenge goes, what you can do to help our channel to get to the watch hours that we need, if you're new and you haven't done this yet, you can go to my channel, Critters Crochet, and I have a playlist that's called, um, oh, I think it says all videos, something like that, and there's like, oh, I don't know, 130 something videos in there, something like that. I'm not exactly sure of the amount of videos that are in there but you can go to that and um, you can hit play all and whatever device you want to put it on your laptop whatever and then just let it run you don't have to do anything else because if you hit play all then it will automatically play each video one right after the other and those hours will count okay so if you have not done that yet I really appreciate it if you've only done that one time, then you can go into your history, and I have a one of my previous videos explains how to do that. Go into your history, click out, click on history, and then click on, I think that's on the left side, and on the right side, it'll have where you can click three dots or something like that, and it says clear watch history. Clear out that watch history, and you can watch let my playlist run again for a second time. So that's going to really help those watch hours if you have not done that yet. Um, also, um, Shannon from the Spoonie Stitcher, she has posted a challenge. She makes little tots and different characters from tots. And she calls them tots because they're kind of the size of a tater tot. They kind of look like a tater tot. But she has this one. This is Dobby. She's doing a Harry Potter series. And this is Dobby. And she said that when if you guys help and get our channel to 1,000 subscribers before October 1st, she will release a tutorial for the cute little Dobby tot. So, anyway, I just love how our community comes together and helps one another 
to help each other um, get our watch hours and to help each other to be successful. So I love that. So anyway, I just wanted to update you on where our channel was and what that was all about. Also, those of you that are new, if you don't know what Things We're Making Thursday is, we started collaborating together at the beginning of the year, and our group has just grown tremendously. It's awesome. But what we do is there's a new pattern selected every month, and everybody works on the same pattern. And what's neat about it is it, they all look different, depending on the types of yarn everybody uses because we don't necessarily use the yarn that's listed in the pattern sometimes we will choose some some will use the yarn in the pattern but sometimes we will choose our own yarn of choice from our stash or whatever and use that um, and so it's neat to see what everybody's looks like um, we've done blankets pillows amigurumi we did a gary the giraffe amigurumi that was really cute um, this one right here, the Greek goddess wrap, that was one of the month's, um, patterns and all the patterns and all the patterns that we've done so far this year, each month, I will have listed in the description box, along with a list of all the YouTube creators that are involved in this. Now you do not have to be a creator to involve yourself in this. You do not have to do videos on YouTube to be involved in this. My email is in the description box as well and if you would like to be a part of this group you can email me and let me know and we can get you on the email list to get updates of the upcoming month project. Uh, you can also email me if you don't have a channel you can email me your pictures of your progress because every Thursday we come on and show our progress. Last, <coughs> excuse me, the last Thursday of the month, we show our finished product. Um, and so you can send me your pictures, and I can post them at the end of my video each week to show your progress if you don't have a channel. Another thing you can do is we have a Facebook um, <clears throat> group, and that was created by Jenna from Jenna, from Jenna Stitches. I think I just butchered her name on her channel, but I'll have it listed at the bottom. Sorry, Jenna, if I messed that up. Um, so Jenna created a Facebook group, and you can be a part of that Facebook group. You can post your progress pictures there. You can ask questions if you're stuck somewhere in the pattern um, or whatever. It's a, it's a fun group. We also even post about uh, pro other projects we're working on in that group. So it's just a fun group to be a part of. Um, but that's what Things We're Making Thursday are is. <laughs> Can't talk today. And we'd love for you to be a part of it. So I was working on the, um, and now I can't remember the name of it. Let me look it up real quick. I thought I had it written on the pattern. I didn't print the full pattern out. Um, and I thought I had it on there and I did not. So let me look real quick. Um, oh, wait a minute. I think it's in here. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I thought I had everything out and ready. <laughs> uh, where, where, where? <laughs> uh, is this on it? No, that's not it. Uh, let's see, maybe it's this one. Nope. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong one. Ah! Nope, it's not that one either. <laughs> I'm not sure if I even have it in here. Well, I'm not going to be able to tell you the name of it, but it's going to be listed below in the description box. Um, it's the shell. We're doing hand warmers, wrist warmers, wristlets, fingerless gloves. That's what we're doing this month. And we have like five different patterns to do. And this is what this one looks like. Um, it was the shell. I don't know if you can see that really well or not, but it was the shell hand warmers. And I used, I had some of the Ogo yarn. And you can probably see it right up here on my shelf, This the Ogo. 
right here. And so I decided to get it out and try it. I haven't tried the Ogo yarn. I never used it until just now. And it's okay, but it's kind of not my favorite. And this is what I used. Um, and this is what it looks like. I only have one made, and that's because I was in Ohio on vacation <laughs> on a little trip. And I just didn't get in as much crocheting as I thought I would. So this is what it turned out to be. I think it's kind of cute. The only thing, they tell you to do a foundation single crochet for the beginning of it. And it's a little tight. There's no give in here. And you can see I've been had it on for a little while. It's already. So I think when I do my next one, I'm going to chain and then do the single crochets. And it seems to, when you do that instead of the foundation, it seems to give it a little bit more of a stretch. So I think on my next pair, I'm going to do that. But I only was able to get one made. <laughs> and so, but this is it. And I think it's cute. I think it's really cute. Um, so I'm going to make the second one and see how it turns out with the bottom like this. And, but I like them. I really like it a lot. And so uh, the next one, I think for next Thursday, I'm going to work on making the tutorial that um, Heather put up from Heather, Heather from Strings and Threads. I think I'm going to work on her tutorial for next week. So just wanted to pop on and share that with you guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have got this worst tickle in my throat this morning. <clears throat> so I got to get around here. Um, got to go get my groceries. Fun and uh, get some other things done around the house. But I just wanted to share that with you. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Also, I wanted to thank Jess again. The jingle at the beginning of this for Things We're Making Thursday, that was written by Jess from J Hook Magic and her husband. So thank you for that jingle. It's awesome and I love it. And I sing it often in my head. And when I'm around the house doing stuff, I catch myself singing it. It's really catchy. So thank you for that, Jess. I will have, again, I will have all the creators and each month that we've done so far and the links to the patterns for each month so that you can check those out. And I will see you tomorrow. Um, so I hope you guys have a great Thursday and I look forward to talking with you again on Friday. Bye guys. Love you lots.